Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about three different activities. One is Excel application scope along with different properties. Second one, save workbook. And the third one, close workbook. Save workbook and close workbook are depends. Uh, these two activities are dependent on the Excel application scope with the different properties. I will explain you what are the properties that we are going to be using as part of save workbook and close workbook. Okay. Now I will give you a scenario where we are going to use the save workbook and close workbook. For and suppose if I'm using Excel application scope, I have opened an Excel workbook and provides a scope for the Excel activities. Correct. So that there are different, different properties are available, right? Before going to start the one, let me add it first so that you know it is very easy to understand. Let me go ahead, let me create a new sequence. I will give it the names as workbook activities. I'm going to create a new one. Now, as the first step, what we're going to do whenever we're going to work with the Excel activities or Excel sheet, that first activity is that Excel application scope. Let me drag and drop onto my panel or my sequence container. Now, if you see, previously we have seen multiple properties like edit password, password, workbook path, auto save, read only, visible, and all these things, output, right? Now we've just seen the properties over there, but uh, in depth we have not worked where exactly that we are going to use this auto save read only properties along with the output of output uh, that is workbook. Now we will learn these things in this session along with the save workbook activity as well as the close workbook activities. Okay. Now we will see the properties of the which we have not explained in the previous sessions. That is one auto save, read only, and the output is workbook. These three properties we are going to learn in this session. Along with that, that we are going to learn save workbook and close workbook. If you mouse over on the auto save, that what it will explain if you see auto save the workbook on each change activity. Use the save workbook activity when disabled. You can see very clearly when we have to use this save workbook activity when this option is disabled so that we can go ahead and we are going to use save workbook activity to save our workbook sheets or save the Excel. Okay. In which situation that we are going to use auto save each change of the activity, what kind of activity like let assume if you're going to write, write cell, if you're going to do or delete range, if you're going to do if such a kind of activities that you are going to do on an Excel, each and every change happen on the activity, it will be auto saved it, right? So every time if you're going to delete a cell, then you auto save will work and then it will save the Excel. And again, if you're having any kind of right cell, each and every time that it is going to be auto saving it. But why we are not, why we are going to disable it? Let's assume if I want to save the entire data after completion of the entire, uh, entire you know, entire activity or entire application has completed, then only I have to save it. I don't want to save each and every activity changes. Then we are going to disable it, this auto save. Okay. Whenever you are going to disable this auto save to save this Excel, uh, to save the Excel changes, then I want to use the save workbook. That is the first one of the auto save. Now read only. Read only means if I'm going to select it, I can't make it any changes, any changes in the sense that if, if, uh, if you see on my screen that I'm having a student, student marks related that I'm having student marks Excel, I don't want to make any changes in the particular Excel. Okay. So that you know, no one can touch this Excel in the particular path so that by using the bot, what I will do, I will make it as read only so that any kind of operation like delete operations, write operations that I can't do it. It is only I can go ahead and read the cells or read the range, such a kind of activities only that I can do whenever I'm going to use read only. Correct. These are the two properties that we are going to see. Now output the workbook. Now, if I want to save the entire data 
of the sheets so enter data of the sheets then what i have to do i have to use output workbook so how can i go ahead and save it now i'm going to set the variable over here like you know excel workbook output i will give the variable over here and then i'm going to click on enter let me go to the variables over here and if you see over here i'm having the name excel workbook output and you can see the variable type workbook application so if you want to use this workbook outside of the excel application scope or any other excel application scope then you will use this output using workbook application okay now we have seen this one right now we will sort the main activities which we are having so now i am going for the save workbook activity i hope you understand the different properties of the excel application scope correct now let me go ahead let me type for the save workbook if you see over here under app integration under excel you are having save workbook as defined just now when we are going to use this save workbook when auto save property is disabled then we are going to use the save workbook to save the excel now let me disable uh, right now i'm not going to put any kind of read only on the thing or read only on the application scope now let me go ahead let me save and let me select the uh, you know file excel file i'm selecting student marks and then i'm going to click on open now i'm going to make some um, some changes over here what kind of changes let you i'm going to delete range delete range i'm going to use it from uh, let us assume from A6 to H11. A6 to H11, I'm going to delete it. So uh, before that, what I want to do, I'm going to delete. I have to make some activities, right? Let me go ahead. Let me do the activity. Delete range. Okay. Let me drag and drop. Now, what is the range that we are going to give it? A6 to h11 i'm going to delete it from the sheet one and cells i don't want okay shift up that i'm going to do entire row anyhow that i'm going to delete the entire rows right so i don't have any issues now uh, after making this uh, excel changes okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to use the save workbook to save this excel i have moved the save workbook activity to the excel application scope let me go ahead let me run the bot i have not given any kind of message box over here so that you know once it has been complete will come out of the uh, excel now if you see once i have opened the student marks all the cells has been deleted from the particular cell to particular cell i have given from a1 to d16 all the cells has been deleted and shift up means it has been moved up okay this is all about the save workbook until now we have seen how to work with the save workbook activity now we are going to work with the close workbook close workbook activity is used to close an open excel workbook in simple format that i'm going to close a workbook which are already open how can i go ahead and do that let's search for close work book from the activities okay you will find this activity under app integration under app integration excel under excel that will find close workbook let's drag and drop this activity after the completion of the excel application scope okay now which let me go to the properties that we are having one only one major property that is target which workbook that i need to close it okay so if you see in excel application scope that I have given a, a output over here the workbook output excel workbook output right that workbook that i'm going to close it right now now let me if you see when i'm going to click control space that you will get it excel workbook output i want to close this one let me go ahead let me save it let me run the bot now if you see over here just please observe over here in the task 
task manager what will happen if some excel is open that will automatically close this let me run the bot once again if you see the excel has been opened and then after completion of that it will close the workbook this is how we are going to work with save workbook and close workbook activities in this session thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day